who knows God to be asking God to ease the deranged. But he's asleep. And it happens in church so good. They come to church and hear everything. But how did preacher get to your point? Satan, find you to sleep. So you don't hear what you need to hear. But today they thought, no, I fell asleep. I got my steak. Wake up. <laughs> it's the message. Try to get up. It's my hand. Wake up. up, up, up. No, I fell ahead. It's the day. They can hear Uncle George. Wake up. You can do sleepy. Get up. Everybody must hear the word today. Yes. So you get your peace. So the man sleeping. And we must understand that Jesus is in charge of the men. Yes. So when he said the men come, it will come. And here we see the the the, 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 the ship for throwing the things overboard. And that is what sin does to you. Let's suppose this was the ship coming across the Atlantic. And it was bringing the Christmas things for the Costa and Gay Shepherd. He won't get a sofa this year because all over the world. <laughs> so Satan knew, four had a blessing on the ship. So all court furniture overboard, flat screen overboard, everything overboard because the men now recognize that their lives are more important than the cargo. And our Adventists, we must get to that place. The things we own are less as important than our soul salvation. And some of you stay at home to make more money rather than do evangelism. I'm saying forget your work sometime and come and work on behalf of the Lord. Amen. Everything on the board. Oh, 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 oh. Go on, go on, go on. And God does that to bring us back to our senses. So the storm intercept, you know. And this is how important God sees his word. God was willing to send a storm so that Jonah would turn around and go back to be here in a second. And verse 6 tells us, go for it. The ship master. So the ship master came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? O sleeper. Arise, Arise. call upon thy God. Yes. If so be that God will think upon us. That we perish not. Let me perish not. So you can recognize that their God has failed. Their God has failed. And they were calling on Jonah to get up and call on his God. You see, once trouble comes, you see really who is the real God. Yeah, true. When the storm comes, you really know who's the real God. True. Every time a storm comes to Barbados, I don't hear anybody say, Hi, the Rasta, hi, the the last thing come and say, but everybody say, Lord, have mercy on me. He doesn't know the real God when trouble come. I never hear a man trouble come. Oh, Allah, Buddha, 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 come, Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. He has love and mercy for Jesus, save us. Because all these gods are false gods. They are dead gods. But we serve a living God in Jesus. Amen. Living God. This God controls the lens. A man of one thing, there was a storm. And he had his samples fighting again. And just get on his tongue and say, Peace be still. And his tongue go, Shh. See God my living. That's the God they serve. They will serve Satan. Just read on your own. I'm going to die. I'm talking about Jesus. The man who has power. So they told Jonah, Man, your God can work because our God has failed. And they go forward. Verse 7. What the Bible tells us. And they said, Everyone to his fellow, Come. Come and let us cast lots, cast lots, that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. Yes. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. Upon Jonah. So they moved from praying to lock up. It's a word for us. This man was a Christian there, so we began to lock up. We put some lots here, boy. There's no demand responsible. And ladies and gentlemen, today, we don't have to pull locks. We don't have to play lotto. And put the numbers. We just got to trust Jesus. And he will tell us what to do. Yes. Huh? A mother of fact, with Jesus, you don't have to let nobody say you do it. You say, Lord, here I am. Send me. Volunteer. My love to serve my Jesus. Because he gives us, he gives us what we need in our lives. And God is a God who can call us back to his place. He can call us back. To oneness with him. I remember the prodigal son. 
The Bible says he left home and he went all the way. So much he moved from being a prestige son, ready to inherit tremendous dollars from his father, to working in the pig pit. And in those days, that was the lowest of the law. They can't go no lower. A mother for the Bible that says he began to fight the pig for the food. <laughs> but the Bible says, thank God, when he came to his senses, is there someone today who need to come to their senses? There's someone today who need to think in the head and say, this is the way to go. And the Bible said, when he came to his senses, he said, my father has servants. Even better I am, I'm going home to make it right with my father. And today, you can come home and make it right with Jesus. My God is a true friend. You see, in life, there are friends. And there are other friends. Your special friends and other friends in life. And, 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 and in life, sometimes you have you have friends that are different than other friends. I, I thank God I have good friends. I have good friends. Good, good friends. And today, I guess I want you to know too that Pastor Tong is my friend. Well, so don't mess with me. I got a friend in high places. Pastor McConnell is my friend. I got good friends. Good friends. Good friends. And God wants to bless you even as you go forward. Yeah. So the marina says, Jonah, do you, you must be the man. And verse 8, 9 says, Then said they unto him, Tell us, we pray thee. For whose cause this evil is upon us? Upon us. What is thy occupation? What's it? What is thy occupation? And whence cometh thou? Whence cometh thou? What is thy country? What is thy country? And of what people art thou? Hold on. This sounds to me. This is evident, right? That Jonah was a story. <laughs> because I was promised to go back a couple of times, thank God the pastor Thorn. And these are the questions you have to answer when you're passing through. <laughs> They get a little out of what it got filled out. I see where you're from. Who your name is. This is passport documentation. So Jonah had a passport. He was a story. They might ask him, where you, where you living? Where you working? Where you come from? Where your country is? And who are your, what is your nationality? So he would not ask him, Jonah, the kind of thing you get on a passport. So Jonah obviously was a pastor. So he had to confess. Now he's in verse 9. And he said unto them, I am a Hebrew. I am a Hebrew. And I fear the Lord, oh, the God of heaven, Fitch. which have made the sea and the dry land. So at least he admits that he's a man of God. Oh, my friends. And, and he says, see, he is a man. And, and he loves God. And I'm seeing in verse 9, you see here Jonah confessing, making it right with God to do the things that are pleasing in the sight of the Lord. He's confessing. He says, I pray God, the God of heaven. My friends, as you go up again, as you go up, as you go up, as you go up, we are saying, Then, then were the men exceedingly afraid, afraid, and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? Why? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord, yes. because he had told them. Mm. Then, they, then said they unto him, what shall we do unto thee that the sea do? may become unto us? Yes. For the sea wrought and was tempestuous. So eventually, ladies and gentlemen, people will know who you are. Because they recognize now that he ran from the presence of the Lord. So they knew he was a man of God. You see, for you can try to hide. But really, the folk know who was Seventh day Adventist. And he could dress up and fox up. But the bottom line is, folk really know who you are. You can tell Seventh day Adventist when they get in the funny. They try to dress up, but they don't look right. <laughs> don't care how much they put on the world, they close the world. It gets not feeling right. Because they find the girls in the world just a nippy and they're walking, they don't last style so long. They can tell somebody with this girl. She's going to be close to her mission. It gets no feet right. Look how we know you. Look how you're pulling. So they knew that he was the man of God. And went from the presence of the Lord. 
So stay right today. Live according to Jesus. And the rest of the end of the story, the same was tempest, and the guy yeah. came to the decision that we go forward. If you are 11, go to 12. And he said unto them, Take me up, take me up. cast me forth into the sea. Yes. So shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake, this great tempest is upon it's you. Upon you. But it's your fault, it is your fault. Uh -huh. And Jonah said, I am the man responsible. Cast me into the depths of the sea so that this wickedness will affect you no longer. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm saying. And it's time for confession. You know full well your life is not doing well because you're not serving the Lord. You're hooked up with the things of the world. You're in a shattered situation because you know it's against the counsel of God. Do like Jonah. Tell Jesus, I'm coming overboard. Set me as I come over. You got to move today. Make the decision today. Give God a chance in your life today. Jonah confessed it. And my friends, confession is good for the soul. Oh yeah. When you confess, nobody can touch you. Because when you go to God, He knows everything already. But like I tell you, like I tell you last week, the enemy Satan, he is the accuser of the brethren. That's right. So when you come and say, Jesus, boy, the fornicator, mm -hmm. God said, no problem. He didn't tell me already. Right. So what is new? So confession is good for the soul. Tell it to Jesus. I want to tell Jesus. And he says it's alright. Do not matter who tell you about your past. Put them to your future. God. Huh? Their fault will always remind you where you came from. But they will never tell you where you're going. But I'm a kind of man that won't concentrate on where I'm going. I'm going to heaven at last. Yes. They tell me in school, when I left school, they tell me I ain't right. That is a celestial life. I did not fulfill their requirements. For them, right means two degrees. But for me, right means trust in Jesus. Because the Bible said the fool said, and his heart is no God. I check the Bible up and down to see if a fool, a fool is a person who will make you eat. I say yet. Yeah. So I ain't no fool. The only thing makes a fool is a person who do not trust God. Regardless to whom you sit by, they must trust God. Don't do the last thing on Sunday saying they go to church. church. They stay home and not follow. You stay home sleeping your head in your life bed, catching a joke, and you think you that your business you should be here. They miss it. They miss the anointing. Yes. Huh? Confession. So we remind you where you come from. They tell you who your father is. Who your mother is. Huh? They even go back to your grandparents. And your great great grandfather. People you don't even know. They tell me down the road. You, you'll be dumpty forever. But you, until I met Jesus. And now, I'm a brand new man. A brand new creation. When I came to the church, I didn't even have the time. And I joined the choir. I tell the choir, I walk in, in the choir room. <laughs> and sit down in the pew. And my voice was such a unique voice. Wow. It took the choir master about three months to decide whether I'm this. <laughs> I go. <laughs> or none. But then go one thing, I ain't going to wait, I see the hair. Hallelujah! And he finally put me, I was telling you, when he sounds sound, he put me with bass. And the sounds, he put me with tenor. But because of where you are, I see it with Jesus. Yeah. And then you pray at the church, if you turn the choir, you must have at least a tithe. Because this church was a big up church. And the don't even cry, man, I pray with that, but I have a tithe. And then walk on with the choir one morning before a tithe. And people said to me, I can't go outside. Then. And because of that, somebody said, Cut there, give me time. <laughs> I got my first time. It was a brown, what do you call it? Not a pencil type. A small, small type. When they read that time off, it turned from brown to the color. <laughs> but now, thank God. This morning, when they were all 
a high yellow tie. I said a boom boom tie. I said a real red. I said the boy said that marching for it back. All kind of tie in the name of Jesus. It's not a boast. I'm just going to tell you with God, you can start here, but we trust Him to get in up there. Yeah. And the reason Satan haunts you to some of the wicked people in church, they want to keep you there in that situation. But by the grace of God, move from there to His grace and move on to the higher world. He tells you so. Tell me, come church. Mother, from the choir, we begin to sing at all places. So I didn't quite see it. So at first, somebody told me one day they had a big concert at my church. Big concert. All the big McGuffins come down. That secretary, secretary, his wife coming down, walk from see. And a lady in church said, No, they're gossiping. <laughs> and when she found, she called back, No, they're gossiping. She tell the people who said, Who are visitors to that man going there? Every church service, he got the same jacket. <laughs> but she was a liar. No, he said, he had one jacket over and over. She was a liar. And a buffer. It was not. She said, I have one jacket. It was a lie. Because the jacket I was wearing all the time was my brother's jacket. It was not my jacket. I didn't have a jacket at all. Thank God she didn't know that. So at least she gave me some credit. Yeah. She said, I got one. I had it at all. The jacket was made with money jacket. So a possible carry liar. If we had told me business, she would know that. But thank God today. I got more than one. I got a black jacket. Blue jacket. Some day we see a man give me a white jacket. And I wear them next week at the harvest. And God is good. He moved from nowhere. To somewhere in the name of Jesus. So when people talk about you, talk with Jesus. And can move from where you are to where you are to be. Huh? Let's play in church. Gossip words don't bother me. And non-functional people do not bother me. Because they're against non-functional. They are against to keep you where they are. But you gotta step up and move on in the name of Jesus. And like Samuel David, I want to say again, I have been young. I know I'm old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Never yet. He always provides for you. And a nigga time. Oh, praise the Lord. So the guys, they're true, Jonah, overboard. Huh? This was the story now. They're true, Jonah, overboard. Let's go forward. Let's go forward and read. Wherefore, yes. Wherefore they prayed unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech thee. Yes. Let us not perish for this man's life. Yes. And lay not upon us innocent blood. For thou, O Lord, hast done as it pleased thee. You see, hold on. The men now who serve their own God's right are yet now have been converted. So God is going to waste our time. The hurricane was supposed to bring Jonah back. But they need to convert a whole ship of, 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 of shippers. Huh? My God is a sweet God. So the trouble you are going through, God is taking to that trouble because he has somebody in your facility who he needs to convert. That's true. Just like when miss you. That's the truth. Yes. Miss you. Huh? So for tell me, you go all this and start to preach. Oh yeah. When the boy elephant said, Lucy, I'm going to depart. To go to that dance. I'm going to get to the dance. These people will not my for that. The people can kill him. They have more men just like women than really men at the dance. So you have to be on my beat. Until Aunt W used to. For what she did for. Mm. What? And the men were dancing pretty. And they tell the barman, yeah, be what are you drinking today, tonight? I said, what I'm drinking, it must come on open. And they call for orange juice. Though at that time I drink alcohol because they want to keep my shit straight. And they have it over with me for those days with a half bag of them. I had a, a opener that had four different kinds of nights. They took it. 
and he brought the juice, they opened the drain. The chance. But when you were away from home, they had transportation in terms of a car. And just who got the car with me? I in the back with three, one in front. Three girls, men not just the girls. And I tell me, sit in the middle. <laughs> sit in the middle. <laughs> not this morning. <laughs> and they run for a door. Who come and lock outside? Didn't hold outside. And they drove these three, these four guys to the point. And they got all dressed up. And when they come and say, I see your muscles. <laughs> I thank God for Jesus. Huh? And all them days, God protected me from that. I know I am in the house of the Lord. Do you think there's somebody who got a gospel mouth to make me run? Oh no, I'm staying with Jesus. Until he comes the second time, I ain't going nowhere. It's there, I tend to stay. Oh, hallelujah. So the guy began to pray. They look up Jonah. And cast him forth in the sea. And watch it. And the and sea. The Cease from her raging. Cease from her raging. Immediately, when somebody said, Man, God has the way of taking care of stuff. And, ladies and gentlemen, this is telling us today that when we surrender to Jesus in confession, almost immediately our problems begin to cease. You begin to see what we're going to do next. You get to understand and rationalize what you need to do to get up to the limit. I'm saying I thank God for Jesus today. And the Bible says they have looked Jonah, go back, put Jonah in the sea. And immediately the sea stopped from raging. That's the God we serve today. A mighty and a wonderful God. Mm. That's why, my friends, we can trust God. We can trust God. We can trust Him today because what He says, He delivers. He's a wonderful God and a magnificent God in Jesus. That's why I was saying earlier, my friends, in this life, we can trust God because there are different types of friends who disappoint you. To some people, you are just a constituent. And a constituent is somebody who is not for you. They are only for what you are for. So the day that somebody else come along with a better idea, they leave you and go to that person. Because that's what a constituent is. For some person today, you are just a comrade. That's right. And a comrade, my friends, is not for you. No, it's not for what you are for. But just they are against what your enemy is also against. So that they are just on your side because the other people, they are against them and you are against them. So they are your comrades. But thank God today, there's a true friend and a confident, a confidant. Yes. This person loves you unconditionally. Yes. They're visiting you in time of trouble. That's right. If you go to doors, they are there. Yes. If you go to the house, they are there with you. Yes. If you hook on drugs, they have you off. That's right. If you get pregnant before your time, 20 times, they are there with you with the first pack of pampers. These people are confidants. And today, my friends, that is how Jesus sees us. Though we were sinners, the Bible says, and we were deep in sin, yet he died for us. So my friend, Jesus turns up. Not because we look pretty, but he turns up because we are in trouble. And he's willing to be with us despite what kind of trouble we are in today. So Jonah was thrown on board. Oh my friends, and the sea went silent. As we close, my friends, what it is do you need to throw overboard today? We can throw the adultery. We can throw the witchcraft. We can throw 
that shall be living. They can show the jewelry. And look, ladies and gentlemen, it does not matter how long you are going to be here. It is best to serve Jesus now. Because Jesus is the same Jesus that is here. He also is the same Jesus that is in Russia, England, Pakistan. Wherever we go, we are serving the same Jesus. So decide now and give him a chance in your life. Oh friends, the sea went quiet. Go far. As Jonah went overboard. And it says, it's Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. Though the Lord had prepared a when they went over, the men decide, we, we ain't sure what we do wrong. If we have done wrong, but they began to make a sacrifice. Which means they accept Jesus fully now as the Savior of the world. Because the sacrifices then represented what happened on Calvary. And thank God they accepted Jesus as their personal Savior. But my God is a sweet God. Jonah now is overboard. In a wide ocean. The mariners still on board. And the ship is going to live. But I tell my God is a God of the earth. And God called the whale. A large person, Bible says. He said, Come over here, large fish. And I believe the whale turned up. And the Bible says that God prepared the whale. He says, Oh, yes. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish. A great fish. To swallow up Hold on. God prepared the great fish. So I'm telling the man on radio that the same way God prepared the fish. He prepared the donkey. But the guy is saying that Christianity is foolishness because there's no way a donkey can talk. But not that donkey can talk. God prepared the donkey to talk. He prepared the fish. Like you said over here, God can make a donkey talk. Because when we have our phones, we take it like me. Who always shot on credit? When you punch in a number, and they tell you, the phone they tell you, they talk me. I'm sorry, they don't have enough funds to, on your credit to fulfill this transaction. So you need to top up. That's the phone talking. I went to Carapar one time. A man selected me first, and the car began to say, "Clear behind, I'm backing up." Clear behind, I'm backing up. Clear behind. So if man can make phone talk, if man can make a car talk, my God can make donkey talk. Because God created the donkey. So God created a big fish. So don't tell me that you examine, you send this to the church. Don't tell me you examine the fish and the way the gills are designed. And by the way, the, 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 the real is a moment. So it has some human characteristics yeah. and some biological capacity oh. that is transcendent and parallel to humanity. Do yeah. <laughs> I get tired from the fish that against? God prepare the fish. So God prepared the, 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 the choke system for the fish to swallow 